Hey guys, I'm Rob, a makeup artist here at Guess. In this video, I'm gonna use the pink palette from the face kit that includes a liner, a compact that's an eye and cheek all in one, a lipstick, and a mascara to create a full face look. So I'm gonna start with the eye and cheek all in one compact. And you could just mix all the colors together and I'm gonna give her a little blush on the cheeks. And you apply the blush on the apples of the cheek and you bring it out to the cheekbone all the way till the hairline. Just use a fluffy blush brush to apply it on the apples of the cheek. And whatever's left on the brush, I like to apply a little bit on the forehead, a little bit on the nose and the chin area. And you can add a little bit of a brightness to the eyes with using the lightest color in the compact and just apply it under the eyes with a fluffy smaller brush. This is gonna brighten the under eyes without giving you the glow. So it's great if you wanna set under the eyes with your concealer as well. Now I'm gonna to continue to the eyes and I'm gonna use this pink coral color and I'm gonna apply it all over her lids. Using a flat brush, just apply this color all over the lid. Make sure you stay in the lid area because we're gonna use a darker color from the palette and the crease. This is more of a satin finish. It's not matte and it's not shimmery. So it's perfect for a daytime and you can also wear this at night. And now that we're finished with the lids, I'm gonna apply the mauve color over here with a blending fluffier brush. And I'm gonna use this as a crease color. I like to use a back and forth motion when I'm blending this. So this way it's completely blended. And when that's done, I'm gonna go back to the same original brush that I used to apply the lid, and I'm gonna use the light brightening color to highlight the brow bone. There you go. And now we're gonna use the mauve color I used in the crease to create definition in the outer corner. Using the same mauve color, I'm gonna bring it underneath the eye and kind of smoke out the bottom of the eye, right where the lash line is. Now we're gonna add the wing using the eyeliner pencil to create the perfect guest girl look. For the perfect wing, I like to start thicker at the outer corner. And as I'm going in towards the inner corner, I like to taper it in in the lash line. You can use your own lashes as a guide when you're applying the liner. You can start very thin in the beginning and you can make it thicker as you go. This liner is very smooth and glides on easily, which is great for that perfect application. Next, I'm gonna apply the mascara on the top and bottom lashes. When applying the mascara, I like to wiggle the lashes a little bit. This makes sure that you coat the lashes with mascara to give you that volume effect. I like to start at the base of the lash and work my way up. This way it curls the lashes and it separates them. Now I'm gonna apply it on the bottom of the lash. This opens up the eye. You can also layer the mascara to give it a fuller effect if you don't want to use false lashes. And now the lashes are finished. To finish the look, we're going to apply the pink lipstick that comes in the kit. This is the matte formula, and I like the applicator because it applies it smoothly. You can also use the tip to create the lip line if you need to. It's more of a sponge applicator which you want for a matte formula to create a full coverage on the lips. As you can see, I'm using the tip to create the perfect Cupid's bow here. And you don't need a lip liner to do that. The lips are finished. The look is done using only the Guest Cosmetics face kit. And she's ready to go.